prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we enter the season of Lent, the time of God the time for conversion, renewal, and holiness. And so we ask God this morning to provide us with strength so that we could be courageous in fulfilling God's will in our lives. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord, your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent, and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priest 
the ministers of the Lord weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was feared to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I help you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Kapag ngayon'y napakinggan ang tinig ng buong mahal, huwag ka ninyong katangahan ang pagsasakatuparan ng nitinihan kalupan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, 
they have received the reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Sa pagsisimula po natin ngayong araw ng panahon ng kwaresma, maririnig na naman natin itong salita na ito, na ang panahon ng kwaresma ay paglilinis na naman ng ating mga sarili paghuhugas ng ating mga kasalanan. Baka maririnig nyo yan sa inyong mga kasama. Panahon na naman ng paglilinis ng sarili. Pero ano nga ba? Paano nga ba ang tamang paglilinis at paghuhugas ng sarili? In our Gospel reading today, we see Jesus warning us of the practice of the Pharisees and the hypocrites that when they clean themselves, they do not really wash away their sins. They just cover it up. Sa mga pariseyo at mga hipokrito, sabi ni Jesus, hindi naman talaga nila hinuhugasan ng kanilang kasalanan. Pinagtatakpan lamang nila. Siguro po merong mga magulang dito at may mga anak din na nandito, may mga bata nandito, mga tagatulay ng kabataan. Kapag sinabihan ka ng magulang mo, Linisin mo ang kwarto mo at mamaya pupuntahan ko at itse-check ko. Kapag tinatamad yung bata, anong gagawin? Naku, itatago lang sa ilalim ng kama <laughs> lahat ng mga dumi. Pagpasok ng nanay, mukhang malinis. Pero naitago lang pala ang dumi. <laughs> Hindi ho yan <laughs> ang paglilinis ng kasalanan ng kwaresma. Washing away our sins entails conversion and forgiveness. And so Jesus reminds us today, my dear brothers and sisters, stop hiding. Wag kang tago ng tago. Kaya minsan magdududa ka, no? Kapag ang isang tao ay tago ng tago, di mo nakikita at hindi nagpapakita, hindi ka kinakausap, hindi nagsasalita. Kaya minsan ang iniisip natin, ano kayang tinatago nito? Baka may tinatago. Stop hiding. Stop hiding from God. Talk to God. Listen to God. Be converted by God. That is why our first reading today reminds us from the book of the prophet Joel that asking for forgiveness from God is not just rending your garments, but it is to rend your hearts. 
Hindi ito pagpapakitang tao lamang. Ito ay pagbubukas ng ating mga puso at sarili sa Panginoong Diyos. Huwag ka nang magtago sa Diyos. Huwag mo nang itago sa Kanya ang mga pagkukulang mo. Huwag ka nang magtago ng iyong sarili. Buksan ito sa ating Panginoon. Our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians tells us that this is the acceptable time, a day of salvation. We are entering into the season of Lent. Ash Wednesday is just the first day and we are entering into an acceptable time when we open ourselves to God, when we do not hide from God, instead, we become truthful and open to our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, true conversion, true forgiveness is not hiding from God. It is about being truthful. Sana po mga kapatid, ngayong araw na ito, matutunan natin, tigilan na natin ang pagtatago, ang pagtatakipan sa isa't isa. Kapag mali, sabihin nating mali. Huwag nang gagawa ng kung ano-anong excuse. Today we are praying for peace in Ukraine. And for the past days, I have been seeing and hearing people giving an excuse for this war in Ukraine. There is no excuse for war. There is no excuse for violence. There is no excuse for killing children and innocent people. Stop hiding. Stop making an excuse. True forgiveness, true conversion will only happen when we do not hide it from God, when we allow God to wash away our sins through forgiveness and conversion. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito na pagsisimula ng panahon ng kwaresma, itigil na natin ang pagtatago sa Diyos. Itigil na natin ang pagtatakipan, ang pagtatago sa mga mali. Buksan ng mga puso, buksan ng mga sarili, hayaan natin ng Diyos linisin ang ating mga kalooban. Amen. Please all stand. The penance of Lent has begun. The sign of the blessed ashes invites us to respond to the God who calls us to come back to Him with all our heart. Let us bring before the Father our desire for renewal. For every petition, let us say, Father, draw us back to You. Father, draw us back to you. That as we enter this season of Lent, we as a church may join Christ in his act of sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father draw, draw us, us back, back to you. That we may discipline ourselves by fasting and self-denial. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father draw, draw us back, back to you. you that we may not close our eyes to the needs of the poor by practical almsgiving and concrete generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. That we may seek the sacrament of penance, especially this season of grace and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. We pray for all who are sick, 
especially those afflicted with COVID-19 and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. That we may show special care for the sick and those abandoned by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. We specially include in our prayers today, peace in the world, especially in Ukraine. We pray that violence may be stopped and people may continue to hear the voice of peace coming from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, draw us back to you. God of mercy and compassion, look upon the petitions of penitent people. May the ashes we receive today truly symbolize our commitment to do your will. May our self-denial express our desire to die to self, that we may live your divine life in us more fully. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself 
by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Tonight at 9 p.m., we will be uh, praying the Healing Rosary for the world, and uh, we will be hosted by the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of San Isidro Labrador in Pulilan, Bulacan. We invite everyone to join us in praying the Rosary for the Healing of the World tonight at 9 p.m. We are also inviting you this day, our uh, dear Holy Father, Pope Francis, has invited us to do our acts of prayer and fasting the whole day for peace in the world, especially in Ukraine. I hope that we are ready today to perform our acts of penance and sacrifice for our particular intentions and especially for the intention of the Holy Father for peace in Ukraine. Also, the whole day today, we will be having a uh, priests uh, available for the sacrament of confession from 7.30 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. this morning and in the afternoon, 3 to 5 p.m. before our 5.30 p.m. Mass. We will be having the imposition of ashes after the celebration. Please all stand. We shall now have the blessing of the ashes. Let us pray. O God, who desire not the death of sinners, but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers, and in your kindness be pleased to bless these ashes which we intend to receive upon our heads, that we who acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust may, through a steadfast observance of Lent, gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>